Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Gunnar Johnson and Erki Koskinen. This is a correspondence game played in 1981. Gunnar Johnson had white pieces and he started with e4. Erki Koskinen played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5. Rui Lopez of Spanish opening, black to move. Koskinen played f5, Schliemann defense. Knight to c3, knight to d4, attacking the bishop. Bishop to a4, knight to f6. And Ghana castle the king's side. Bishop to c5, knight takes pawn on a5. Erki Koskinen castle kingside. Pawn takes pawn on e5. d5. Who is better? White or black? White is better materially. White is two pawns up. Question is, does black have enough compensation for sacrifice pawns? Let's have a look. The game continued. Knight to e2. Queen to d6. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes knight. Knight to f3. Attacking the bishop. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Perhaps moving bishop to b6 comes to mind. Do you agree? Erki Koskinen played a very clever move. Knight to g4. And black bishop is a taboo. c3. If knight takes on d4, then queen takes pawn on h2. Check mate. Very nice. So we have c3 attacking the bishop again. Now bishop must move. Maybe. How will you continue? Erki Koskinen captured the pawn on a5 with rook, sacrificing the bishop. Black happily collected the bishop. Hmm, why did Black sacrifice his piece? What would you do in this position? if you had black pieces. Hmm? Have a good look. The knight on f3 is the defender of the pawn on h2. So this is asking to be played. g3, obviously, if pawn takes rook, then queen takes on h2 checkmate. So we have g3. What now? Perhaps queen to h6 doesn't look too bad. Maybe rook takes pawn. Erki Konskinen captured the pawn on h2 with knight. Fire on board. Should black capture the knight or not? Would you? Gunnar Johnson played d3. Perhaps taking the knight was the best move. That would offer the best chances to white to survive. One line goes like this. Bishop to g4. Threatening rook takes pawn, winning the queen. Queen to e1, queen to h6, check. King to g1. Queen to h3. Bishop to d1. Rook from a to f8 d3. No, perhaps h6. But the most forcing is this one. Rook takes on g3 and this leads to draw. Check and black can't win. Okay, let's return to our game. In the game we have d3. What now? 
black to move. Obviously, white didn't see next move. And that is rook takes on g3. Check. Pawn takes rook. Queen takes pawn. Check. King to h1. Knight takes rook comes to mind. Erki played queen to h3, threatening knight takes rook, discover check. King to g1, bishop to g4, attacking the queen. Queen to e1. Black to move, how would you continue? Erki played bishop to f3, threatening queen to g2, checkmate. Queen to f2, defending. Black to move. Black, play the move and white resigned. What is the move? Knight to g4, attacking the queen. White resigned. One threat is knight takes queen, and another one is queen to h1 checkmate. If a queen, for example, takes the bishop, then queen to h2 checkmate. And if queen goes to d2, queen to h1 checkmate. What a brilliant attack. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king content. Bye for now.